St. Anthony, Miracle in Meaning, Day 4 of the Reflection on the Miracles of St. Anthony. One day, a young man came to St. Anthony for confession. And among many of his sins, one sin that he confessed was that he once kicked his mother so hard that she had a nasty fall. St. Anthony, who was uh, hearing the confession, under his breath muttered, the food that hurts the mother is better be severed, be cut off. It's not that St. Anthony meant it literally, but this young lad misunderstood the words of St. Anthony, went back home and took a hatchet and cut his foot. The parents who saw this ran to the saint and the saint came to the bedroom of this boy. The foot lying a little uh, moved away from the boy and the boy wallowing in pain. St. Anthony took the foot, attached it to the leg of the boy and the boy's leg was renewed, was new again and he was jumping again and he was back. Today, the Lord is asking us to meditate on the sacrament of confession. Sacrament of confession is a great privilege, is a great gift that we Catholics possess. It is through this sacrament that the Lord heals us. But how do we approach this sacrament is a big question. Do I approach the sacrament with wrong notions? Just as people use soap or surf to cleanse and they just utilize it, not having much reverence, no sense of encounter with in persona Christi with Christ, but just because I should have a feel good factor and that's why I run. This doesn't take away anything from the significance, from uh, what the sacrament of confession carries in it. Again, I say, it is in how I look towards it, the impact uh, I am deciding for my life. So therefore, today the Lord is asking us, how am I approaching the sacrament of confession? The first stage of sacrament of confession is going into the presence of God, looking at Him, looking at His benevolence, looking at His love, looking at my wretchedness and telling the Lord, Lord, I am not worthy and I want to be made clean and with lot of remorse and repentance. Like the people who encountered Jesus with the words, have mercy on us, son of David. We ask Him, we plead Him and being sure of his benevolence, we go to the priest, confess our sins completely without hiding anything, knowing that it is not the priest, but the Lord and Savior who is forgiving me and receiving it with whole heart and making a sure decision to sin no more. So henceforth, let us reflect today on the sacrament of reconciliation and ask the Lord through the intercession of St. Anthony to fill us with sure love and respect towards the sacrament of confession of reconciliation. Amen.